Hello everyone, welcome. Today we are back in the center of the city, Santiago. We're actually pretty close to Plaza de Armas. It's about a block behind us, south of us. We're heading north, and the reason we're heading north is because up north, Plaza de Armas, there are three really cool looking public markets, and we are gonna go visit all of them. Let's go. Before we do that, I just wanna say real quick, thank you very much for watching the video. Click the like button and the subscribe button and leave a comment down below. It's free, it's easy, and it will help the channel grow and help this content reach other YouTube viewers. All right, back to the video. So the markets are all right here around the river, Mapocho River, which is right in front of us. The first market that we're going to, it's right here. It's right next to us, we're actually right here. It's Mercado Central. Mercado Central de Santiago. Let's go in, check it out. Fish market right here up in the front. Ooh. Fresh fish. Now, it's going to be a lot of fresh seafood because, of course, Chile, a country with a gigantically very long coastline and lots of fish in the cuisine. This whole thing is fish markets. I will say, it does smell like fish in here, but it doesn't smell like bad. Lots of very amazing seafood, super fresh. Really fresh looking seafood. Giant thing of tuna up there. This all looks great. Unfortunately, because we're going to uh, several other markets, or at least two other markets. We're not gonna be able to buy any of this fish. We can't. Uh, no, gracias, señor. We're not gonna be able to buy any of this fish. Because if we do, we're gonna have to be carrying around fresh fish with us out in the summer heat. And I don't think that's really gonna be an option for us. But man, this place is big. There's a lot of restaurants. And uh, not just the fish markets, but yeah, like lots of these restaurants over here. Tio Luco. Or Tio Lucho. Lots of... Lots of delicious looking seafood restaurants. Man, this, this is the place. It's not super, super busy, but we're here kind of early. I would imagine... Uh, I would imagine really early this place is super busy. People coming up actually buy fish from the fish markets real early to get like the best of the catch but we're here like late morning so it's not like lunchtime yet you know around like one o'clock or so it's not there yet so there aren't a lot of people but there still is a lot of stuff to see here at all these fish markets something we should try here we should probably try at least something right while we're here get a little something to eat i think we should We'll figure that out. We'll figure that out after we walk through here and check this whole place out. They have crab, they have mussels, clams, all kinds of stuff. Oysters. Looks like in the middle, it's like a uh, kind of a bigger food court kind of thing. Uh, no, ahora. Tal vez luego. Tal vez luego. Muchas gracias. Ah, perfecto. Gracias. And there you go. There's a person who spoke English. Talvez luego, talvez luego, senor. Muchas gracias. Ah, perfecto. Gracias. 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 A lot of good-looking stuff around here. Some restaurants. But like I said, it looks like it was a little empty. I think we're here at a kind of an off time. But I mean, the building... I didn't even notice this. I've been too busy looking at all the fish. Look at this building. This is really cool. This is definitely some, like, 1800s... Uh, architecture neoclassical I wonder what year this building was built 
I don't know. I'll certainly look it up and put it like in a subtitle right here. Man, this is cool. Very cool. Okay, look, I think, I think now that we've seen this, I think it's time. I think it's time we get something to eat. Let's get something to eat here. I don't know where, but we're gonna get something to eat. Probably where that guy, that guy was real nice. I don't know, man. Everybody, there have been three or four people who've been like, hey, come eat at my place. Now what am I gonna do? I can only eat at one of them. Unless I'm gonna get like really fat. Anyway, let's check a place out. Found a nice seafood restaurant. Gentleman downstairs, Roberto, who spoke English, Robert. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check this place out. I think it's gonna be good. Gracias, señor. Got a bottle of water because it's kind of hot and I am a little thirsty. But from up here on the second floor of this place, you see the whole market. Pretty cool. It's a cool place to have a little meal. Now, we're only gonna have a little meal because, you know, like I said, we're going to three different markets. We're gonna eat something at each of these markets. We can only have something small here, can't get something too big. But decided to go to this place. La Caleta El Delfín, which I'm hoping they don't actually serve dolphin here, but you know, anyway, let's get something and we'll check back in. So I ordered a water and then they brought uh, some bread and this, this soup, which I think is, is free. The guy said it was free and they also brought me like a little drink, which I think it's like a little mojito or something. So how do you like that? Not, not bad. Not bad. Okay, so we ordered some fish, a plate of fish with like some rice and a salad. Uh, it's called a reneta, a fish. And uh, this thing, turns out, is not uh, not a mojito. It's a pisco sour, which I think I think actually is like a Chile, a pretty like Chilean drink because I had something that uh, smelled and tasted a little bit like this at a bar like a week ago. Uh, and the dude at the bar, um, Pedro, really cool, uh, uh, cool dude from Venezuela, actually. He uh, he told me that this is like a Chilean drink. Anyway, um, that bar, by the way, is in the neighborhood where we're staying, and we're gonna make a video about the neighborhood where we're staying, of course, when we finally do leave Santiago. And uh, let me tell you, that place is gonna be in the video. Anyway, I'm gonna get my food, and then we're gonna eat it. So there it is, delicious piece of grilled fish, rice, and uh, Chilean style salad. This is like, I've seen this before for sure as a side. It's basically just like tomato, onion, a little vinegar, like some uh, parsley or cilantro or something on top. Really, really good. Uh, we ate that soup also, and that soup was real good too. Um, it was really simple. It was basically just like a fish broth with um, some herbs and a little bit of uh, you know extra flavor in there. And it was tasty. It was very tasty. Um, and uh, pretty glad because it was that it was free, <laughs> but um, it was very good. All right, let's dive in. We're gonna eat this, and afterwards I'll tell you how it was. Well, it was a pretty good meal. I ate the whole thing. It was very good. The fish was uh, done well, which is always always can be a problem with fish. It's very tricky to to cook, and it was not overcooked. It was not undercooked. The rice also same. Not overcooked. Not undercooked. Salad was tasty and fresh. Fish was not over seasoned or under seasoned. It was very good. It's a very good meal, and uh, I really like that pisco sour too. So, uh, thumbs up, thumbs up for this. Just finished up here with my friend Robert. Hey, Robert, how are you guys? Thank if you, you. want to come to Chile, come to the Central Market, and I've been waiting here for you. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. All right, that was very good. Now we said when we came in here, of course, that we were uh, we were only going to have like a small thing to eat, and then we got an entire meal. But well, such is the way. That's how it always goes down. We never really do what we say we're going to do. We just sort of play it by ear. Anyway, this market was cool. I liked it. It's very uh, fish centric. More seems like more of a fish market than uh, than anything else. So. We're gonna go to the next one. The next one is Mercado uh, Tirso a Molina, Molina, 
I looked that one up and it looks like it's a little more uh, variety. Um, now the other thing I've heard is that uh, this place, Mercado Central, this is like the touristy market. And it kind of seems like that a little bit, but um, I don't know, I still thought it was really good. Anyway, let's move on to the next place, Mercado Tirso de Molina. All right, we're out here. El Mercado Tirso de Molina, not Tirso a Molina. Tirso de Molina. Now this place, I have heard, or I've read at least, this place is a little more legit, not as touristy. And it also looks like there are a lot more variety of stuff. Whereas Mercado Central seemed like very, very much a fish market that had a few other things there. This place looks like it has everything. Straight up grocery store, selling bread and cookies. There's like uh, gift type shops outside, like right outside there were like uh, tons of people selling street food and all kinds of stuff. Little cheese shop here, place selling chips and gifts and there's vegetable markets here all the way along. And this place is actually pretty big, it looks like. You know what? There's one thing that I want to try. I want to go upstairs real quick. We'll come back down and check out the rest of the downstairs, but I want to go up real quick because I think the food, from what I've heard, because I've done a little research about this, the like restaurant food court type places up here, and there is something I want to try. There's like this drink. It's like this uh, kind of like purple colored drink that's made from corn, I think. And I think you can get it here. It's like a kind of a street food. Uh, gracias. It's kind of like a street foody kind of thing. And uh, who knows? Man, I think I, well, I want to try and find it. And I want to try and get one. Of course, I don't want to get a meal here because we literally just ate. Hola. Uh, no. No, tal vez luego. Muchas gracias. Ah, sí, sí. Ah, sí. Perú, mira, mi país, y también tengo de Colombia y Venezuela. Ah, perfecto, Buenas perfecto. Comidas, pero más de mi rico Perú. Tal vez luego, tal vez ya, luego. Sí, muchas gracias. Ya, ¿va a almorzar? Ah, no, no, no ahora. ¿No? Mucho, tal vez luego. Muchas gracias. All right, so this is definitely the spot. Everybody is trying to get me to go to their restaurant. Hola. Ah, no ahora, tal vez luego. Muchas gracias. Everyone's trying to get me to go to the restaurant. I'm telling them not now, maybe later. But yeah, this is the spot for food upstairs. Okay, so if you ever come to this place, you, uh, it seems like they've got a lot of different varieties of food, not just Colombian. Hola. Uh, no ahora, tal vez luego. Tal vez luego. Uh, soy de Estados Unidos. Ah, yeah. Sí, sí. Ah, sí, tal Mira, vez, tal vez. ¿Tienes, ¿Hablas bien español? Ah, un poco, un poco. Tienes bastantes variedades en carnes y mariscos. Ah, oh, sí, sí, sí. Tienes el fish, tienes soul de marisco, tienes el beef, el costillar, tal vez cerdo, el pastel de choclo típico chileno. Ah, tal vez luego, tal Me vez luego. Edith, cualquier cosita te invito a pasar por este lado. ¿Cómo, cómo se llama usted? Edith. Edith, Edith, Edith. mucho gusto. Ya. Gracias. So yeah, like I was saying, I think they've got all kinds of food. She was pointing to that thing up there. They have Colombian food. They have Peruvian food, Chilean food, Venezuelan food. I saw a sign for, uh, yeah, Ecuadorian food. Comida Ecuatoriana. So, not just Chilean food here. All kinds of food. These restaurants seem like they're serving like food from all over South America. Now, now the one interesting thing is I haven't seen any of these restaurants serving like what would be Argentin Argentine food, Argentinian food, right? It's always been like Chile, Venezuela, uh, Peru, Chile, Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador, maybe, Colombia. Not a lot of Argentina. Hmm. No love for Argentina. All right, well, listen, we'll come back up here and I will try and get. Uh, Hola, uh, tal vez luego. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll come back up here and we'll get a little snack or a drink or something. Try and get one of those things. Ah, uh, no, gracias. No ahora. Tal vez luego. Sí.
Yeah, the next time, exactly. That's what she said, alla proxima, the next time. This place is cool, man. Now, the fresh fruit market down here that we saw, all this, like, fresh food, some, like, uh, herbs and spices, nuts, dried fruits, fresh fruits. We got everything here. It looks like it's pretty good quality, too. Pretty good quality stuff. And like I said, outside on the street, man, there were people, like, uh, selling street food. Straight up people selling street food, like, just on a little, like, plancha, a little grill. A little asado or something. Pretty cool. Informativo Tiso de Molina. Information board, just so you know exactly what's going on. If you can read Spanish, of course. Which I can, sort of, but I need like 110% of my concentration in order to do it. A lot of more vegetable markets. This place definitely seems like the vegetable and fruit marketplace. So you go to Mercado Central to get your fish. And you come here. Come here to get your vegetables and your fruit. Oh, they have dragon fruit, mangoes, maracuya. I don't know what maracuya is. I wonder if that's like a local fruit. Maracuya. Pretty good. All right. Now, I don't remember the name of this drink, but I seem to think I'll be able to get it here. So I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'm gonna do a little research. I'm gonna figure out if I can get this thing here and if I can, we're gonna try it. Not just fruit and vegetable markets, they got deli here. Some really good looking deli meats under the counter. Something here called pichanga. I don't know exactly what that is, pichanga. It's pretty good though. Cheese shop, quesos art, art, litro artists, artisan cheeses. Another deli, a little dog guarding it with his life. <laughs> All right, I still haven't figured out what this, uh, what this drink is. I think I may just have to ask somebody. Let's go back upstairs. Let's ask and see. Uh, una cosita. Uh, hay una bebida, pero no recuerdo cómo se llama. Es uh, una bebida chilena. Es uh, morada. Creo que es hecho de um, maíz. Eh, pero no, no chilena, es peruana. Oh, es peruana? La chicha, chicha morada. Chicha morada, chicha morada. Oh, chicha es, morada. Es, 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 es con maíz. Con maíz. Ay, ¿Cómo se llama? Nicole, Nicole. La chicha, la chicha morada, ¿con qué la hacen? ¿Cómo se llama el maíz? El maíz morado viene con limón. Primero se hace sí, se, sí. se hierve, ¿verdad? Sí. El maíz morado, la canela, el clavito de olor, lo hierves. Y, y, en la uh, primera agüita lo cola, le echas un poquito más de agua y le pones, le rayas piña y le pones sí. el este limón. Okay. No entendí todo, pero uh, un poco. Ay, uh, no, pero igual es que... ¿Sí me entiende? Maíz morado. Maíz morado. morado. Sí, sí, morado. Sí. Lo hierve con canela. Ah, morado. sí, pero es peruviana, no es, uh, no es chilena. Es peruano. Peruano, peruano. peruano. ¿Cuál es lo que usted dice? ¿Cuál quiere saber? Uh, ¿Por ah, qué? Bueno, quiero ¿tú quiero tú probar. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Ya, ya probé uh, mote con el sillo. Muy, muy, muy ya. rico. Uh, pero um, no, no sé uh, eh, um, creo que uh, la bebida uh, fue uh, chilena pero no es, es Perú ya. no es peruana, peruana. Chile, con maíz uh, perfecto no, chicha morada chicha morada, morada. Chicha morada. Exacto. muchas gracias, es peruana, muchas gracias. Y, y, y tengo acá o tiene acá no, no acá aquí abajo aquí no, abajo no, no, sí ah oh, sí perfecto muchas gracias all right, it's called Chicha Morada. It's not Chileno, it's Peruvian. And apparently they have it down here in some of these uh, like drink juice places. Let's go see. 
Chicha Morada. Chicha Morada. All right, we're gonna get ourselves a Chicha Morada. We're gonna try it. Even though it's Peruvian, we're here in Chile. We're still gonna try it. We're still gonna try it here. Naturales, maybe they have it here. Hola, buen día. ¿Tiene chicha morada? No. ¿Hay uh, ahí por, uh, por aquí? ¿Un lugar? Oh, arriba, sí. Muchas gracias. Well, the people upstairs told me to come downstairs, and the people downstairs told me to go upstairs. So, we're going to keep looking. Well, asked a bunch of people. They all seem to say like, oh yeah, you can get it over there. And then I'd go over there and then they didn't have it. But I did find out Chicha Morada, it's not, it's called Chicha Morada one. It's not uh, Chilean, it's Peruvian, which I did not know, but I know now. So maybe I think instead, we're just gonna have to go to the next market and we'll, we'll not get our Chicha Morada here. Maybe if sometime in the future we go to Peru, That'll be a video. We'll go to Peru and we'll try Chicha Morada there in Peru. Anyway, next place we're gonna go is called La Vega Central. And this is another market that's like right here. All of these are like within a block or two of each other. So next one, La Vega Central, here we go. All right, we're here in La Vega Central. This place, there's a bunch of people out here in the street selling stuff before you even get into the market. Very busy. This one seems more busy than the other ones. I can definitely see from going to these other two why people say that uh, Mercado Central is like the touristy one. Because it definitely seems that way. These other two, these are places where it seems like there aren't very many tourists. Whereas Mercado Central, there were a lot of tourists. There were a lot of people like speaking English. And people who worked at the places speaking English to the tourists. Uh, not to say that that's a bad place, but Definitely more touristy than these places. La Vega Central. Lots of fruit markets. This place, ooh. This place full of pickles and olives. Ooh. It's delicious. Delicious looking olives, tons of different kinds of olives. Hell yeah. Olives are a big thing in uh, Argentina. I didn't know if they're like super big here in Chile. I haven't seen them as much in like food and whatnot as I did in Argentina, but it seems like there's a whole olive bar back there. Yo! All right, this place is big. This place is legit. This place is really legit. And it's very big inside. It's like, uh, Lots and lots of places here. Lots of people too. Like this place is real busy. It's much bigger than the Tirso de Molina. And it's much, seems like much more or less touristy than Mercado Central. There's a big variety of stuff here too. Like, here's a butcher shop. Big butcher shop. I've seen all kinds of stuff, not just the fruit markets and the regular shops, but like specialty stuff. There was a there was like a chocolate store that was selling all chocolate. There's a little food court area in the middle too, it seems like. A deli. This place that just sells pickles and olives. It smells really good in here too. That pickle shop that we just went by. Very strong smell, but it smells good. It smells real good. Another butcher shop over here, big one. Man. So this, uh, this seems to be like the place. It's bustling. There's a ton of people here. When we were at uh, Mercado Central, it seemed a little quiet actually. There weren't a lot of people going through there. But this place and the Terzo 
Terzo de Molina was you know, kind of busy, but it's also kind of small. This place is huge. I mean, look at this. Just turned a corner here. Like, I'm already kind of kind of lost in this place. Turn a corner, it goes all the way back. Look how far back it goes. There's all kinds of stuff here, too. Places selling, like, packaging for restaurants. So it looks like this is where the restaurants are getting their stuff, too. Yeah, not just, not just food, not just certain types of food, like vegetables. They're selling everything here. Everything here. Plasticos, candy store, dried fruit, nuts. Legit candy shop here. Selling dried fruit, more sweets and stuff like that. Another deli. This place just keeps on going. Another butcher shop. I'm gonna walk all the way to the back of this place. Cause man, it just like, it seems like it goes on forever in every direction. It's like his own, and when you look at it on the map, it takes up a, a lot of space on the map. It's almost like its own neighborhood as far as how big it is. Look at this place. Selling candies, sprinkles, dried nuts, dried fruit. This place selling dry legumes, peas, spices, all kinds. Another butcher shop. This is like the fifth butcher shop we've gone by. Yo. Yeah, this place. This place is great. I said we weren't going to try to get... Uh, I said we were going to try and get something at each one of these markets. I kind of forgot to get something at, at uh, Terzo de Molina. Uh, maybe we can get a little something here. Some little place serving food right here. Maybe we'll come back. Maybe we'll come back through here. We'll come back through. We'll find a place where we can uh, get a little something to eat. And we'll get it. Because, man, like... I just feel like I walked through the market for like forever. And now it's like there's a whole nother part of the market here. Look at this place. Crazy. La Vega Central. Alright. Look, I think I think we've already figured figured out which of the markets is the best one. The other two were uh, they were good, they were fine, but I mean, this place, this is a real market. This is like a real legit market. So we're here in like this little food courty type place in the middle, right in the middle of the market. All around, the market is bustling. People are all over the place buying market stuff. Fruit and all kinds of whatnot. And we got ourselves an actual Chileno drink. Mote con huesillo, which we've had before. It's very delicious. I do like these a lot. And uh, we weren't able, of course, to find a chicha morada, but that makes sense because it's not from Chile. It's from Peru. So I guess we're going to have to go to Peru. We're going to have to go to Peru to find one. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my drink. This feels like a proper, proper market. Like when I was thinking about like, what's a big market going to be somewhere down in South America? Like this, this is what I thought of bunch of stalls, like millions of stalls, millions of people, little stray dogs poking around trying to find something to eat. Just like, and just goes on forever and ever and ever. You just keep walking and it just goes on forever. It's super lively and there's a bunch of people. You know, I never got a chance to do this uh, when I was in uh, Argentina. I knew there were some markets in Argentina, um, but they all sort of seemed, at least the ones that I knew about, they sort of seemed like more touristy. Like San Telmo Market, which I think is only on the weekends, and it's like a very, you know, upscale, uh, touristy kind of a thing. And then also like the uh, La Salada, which is a market in Argentina, but I think it's really just for like, they're selling clothes. And um, I, I didn't get a chance to get out to that one either when I was in, uh, when I was in Buenos Aires. 
when I was in Cordoba in Argentina, I tried to go to two of the markets and film, and I went there, and they wouldn't let me film inside. There was like a security guard who told me I couldn't film in there, which I thought was kind of bullshit. But anyway, this is the spot. This is the spot. La Vega Central. Way to go. Way to go, La Vega Central. Way to go, Santiago. This is, you have yourself a real serious, like, awesome market here. And I really like it. <laughs> Just had our mote con huesillo. It was really good. Now we gotta figure out how to get out of this place. This place is like a maze. Walked all the way to the back. Have to walk all the way back out to the front. But man, I will say, all right, so the three markets. You know what? Let's get out of this place first. Then we'll talk about the verdict. The verdict on the three, the three markets here in Santiago. How the hell do we get out of this place? This is the problem I got, like, turned around immediately. Okay, look, here we go. This looks like it's going somewhere. Let's check it out. Look at this. Really, they really are selling everything here at this point. That's the thing, is like, you can come here and get absolutely everything you need, for sure, 100%. Even like, whatever, whatever you need. I think we gotta go down here to the end. I think we make a left, and that takes us back out to where we came in. Where we came in, out, out in that parking lot in the front, that place was hectic as hell, too. There was like 30, 40, 50, like, little street food vendors out there in front selling stuff. Crazy. Oh, it looks like there's a way out here. Let's go out this way. Yeah, see, once you get outside, like, even out here, there's just a ton of people. People selling stuff outside the market too. Street vendors. Tons of them. More vegetables. Selling vegetables, selling street food, selling all kinds of stuff. This is nuts. Crazy. La Vega Central. That's the spot. All right, well, I see the metro station in front of us. So, what's the verdict? The verdict is, if you want to go for fish, you go to Mercado Central. And if you want something that's a little more of a touristy experience, that's where you go, Mercado Central. If you want to go to, like, a place that has lots of different food uh, from different countries, Venezuela, Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, Chile, that's the uh, second floor. Terzo, Mercado Terzo de Molina. But if you want like the real, like serious uh, market experience, hustle bustle, gigantic place selling a million different things with like tons of people walking around, then you gotta come to La Vega Central. Anyway, we're getting close to the metro stop. I think it's gonna be it. We're gonna call it here for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>